learning to use YouTube. A couple hundred years ago, you know, was there a 10 year old on the planet that didn't know how to trim a wick on a lamp? I mean, you know, I mean, thinking about it, was there? I doubt it. I mean, you know, it's a basic skill. It'd be like a 10 year old now that doesn't know how to walk up to a light switch and turn the light on. You know, so I'm thinking like these skills that are just disappearing and, you know, every day, you know, our scientists and engineers are coming up with a million new things. And how many are we losing? I don't know. There's got to be, you know, millions of people that still know how to trim a wick. Um, watching a movie and it was like it's really obvious that there was nobody on that set that even knew that trimming a wick was like a thing that should be done um but you know i've seen movies where you know supposed professional drivers get their brake lines cut and they suddenly can't stop the car like just jam the thing and bark okay you know it still has a steering wheel just saying. But, you know, the movies are not really the other accurate representation of what, you know, maybe even the majority of people on the planet know how to do. So, last one, like, you know, how many people are left that could do what I am sure that all four of, of my great grandmothers could have done and would have been appalled if they had known any women in their circles that couldn't and that's you know raise a batch of chickens and you know everybody's been out working a long day some of them were farmers some of them were loggers some of them were fishermen um but you know, they, were, they were all landed people and you know and everybody's coming in and you know and you know it's it's you know, 10 o'clock in the morning, it's time to start cooking the 7 p.m. meal and getting that together. And oh, and they go out to their garden where, you know, they had put in their kitchen garden and they had their carrots and potatoes and, you know, whatever, whatever else and go and harvest it and, and wash it up, cook it, kill a chicken, pluck it, make chicken soup. I mean, all of them had this skill. I mean, it would be inconceivable to them that anybody you know wouldn't be able to do this and i'm going yeah you know i time traveled back you know and got handed the dead chicken and pointed at the kitchen garden where everything was already growing and everything was thriving would i put that meal together probably but i would be major stressed out you know i haven't plucked chickens since i was seven years old i'm pretty good at pulling weeds i know the ones that you know aren't the plants that were planted you know i recognize the weeds it's like oh yeah you know those are thistles we don't need those um you know but i i, I also leave a lot of weeds because you know i'm like i don't know if that's what was planted or not and you know and i'm a gardener's kid so you know so i'm like going well what what skills are out there that you know people could share on youtube when you know when i got into doing youtube here in October, um, I mean, it, I didn't really plan on getting into doing, putting together YouTube videos, you know, I bought my first cell phone in 1999, I was living out of my car, I needed a way to contact my family for my employer to contact me, um, I liked that flip phone, it was awesome, it made phone calls, it rang when it was supposed to, you know, it took messages, they were easy to retrieve, you know, it took pictures, I didn't have any way to get them off of that phone, but you know, it was good, you know, snap a picture, there it is, and, you know, and then the cell phone company quit supporting it, and so it was like, hmm, yeah, people send me a text, and my text messaging would be like, completely bonked, and, I don't know what the origin of that expression is, sorry if it's um so you know 
my texting would work. So I went for like over a year, just not using the texting fixture. And then, you know, somebody sent me a picture, texted me a picture, you know, coworker, and I couldn't even make a phone call. I'm like, mm. and uh, I was in the spot where I was getting a new phone at that point. And, you know, and then it cycled out and it worked again. I'm like, okay. And then, you know, about six weeks later, somebody else texted me a photo and the phone quit working. I'm like, okay, device isn't, any, isn't supported anymore. This is not working. I'm going to go and get a new phone. And, you know, I'm happy with that phone. Um, very happy with that phone. But, you know, what did I want? I, really, you know, the same thing I wanted from the kitchen phone when I was a kid, you know, thing to work, make phone calls. And I'll, but, you know, it's, you know, it's 2020. So, you know, like, okay, it was early March and I needed a phone and I went, okay, this is what I want. I want a phone that, you know, maybe I can get it, you know, another 20 years out of. And, you know, for the post phone company forces me to get a new one. And, you know, it had a camera. I still, all I know about that camera is it's got a little, little, um, little app that has a little picture of a camera and then next to it, it's got a little app that has a picture that says gallery. And, you know, okay. I didn't plan on ever taking any videos. You know, it's a brand new hobby for me and it's definitely born out of COVID because, you know, if it wasn't for COVID, I would not be spending enough time inside to be going like, oh yeah, I'm going to learn how to do this hobby that takes like a lot of memory off of my computer. And, you know, there's like endless ways to spend money on and, you know, and there's like entire universities that are dedicated to how to do this well. And, you know, there's a lot of people that really love it. So what am I doing? I'm doing like, you know, who are the people that that have knowledge that I want that aren't on YouTube because, you know, it's not their gig? And, you know, and who are the people that I know something that they would be willing to tolerate this, you know, less than professional quality cinematography, if you know, like that word is like, even can be in the same building as my production. And, you know, so I'm like, well, I'm just gonna talk about what I know, what I'm interested in, and hopefully that'll be useful to some.